edge closer to another La Liga title as Barcelona slip up once again. What's going to happen though this weekend? We're going to take a look at it, all of it, next. prediction video today we're looking forward to match day what is it number 34 over in España and we'll get to that it just was like if you know where you've been smash your subscribe to keep back and see all things La Liga related Bab and Rose related whoa fucking believe it all here boys under one Ruski of course La Liga uh, champions elect really Real Madrid what they're 15 points clear over Barcelona I don't even know how many games they got left uh, but of course Barcelona sit in second of course level on points for Sevilla of course Perfect Madrid are also in the mixer for the runners-up spot as well. We'll take a look at it all of it in a minute. Of course, big shout-out to my VIPs. They're the patrons, guys. They will have, of course, behind the scenes. You know who you are. But anyway, let's jump in the deep end, of course, and have a look at what went on last time around, of course, uh, this last weekend, as we build up, uh, of course, uh, to the next weekend. Of course, Real Betis crowned uh, uh, the Spanish Cup champions, of course, with that monstrous penalty win uh, this past couple of days as well. So let's take a look, of course, at the, the situation, though. These are the games, of course, from the weekend. Athletic Madrid with a 0-0 draw against Granada. Opportunity missed there. Betis there with a 1-0 loss against Elche in the league, but of course they bounce back with of course that cup win. Osasuna with a 3-1 loss against Real Madrid. Sardinia with a 2-0 loss against Getafe. Espanyol with also losing to Real Valcano. Big win, big week for them. Of course, Cadiz a uh, 3-2 loss against Bilbao. A lot of away sides picking up points here. In fact, all of them picking up points uh, so far. However, Villarreal turn it all around with a 2-0 win of Valencia. Uh, Mallorca with a 2-1 win of Alaves. Uh, Sociedad did lose to Barcelona, and Levante uh, also lost to Sevilla. A five-goal bobber does, and of course Barcelona choked as well with a 1-0 win for Valcano. Look at that! Look at that! Not many uh, home wins in there. Uh, a lot of away day wins. So you, if you were, are a betting man, that would have been the time to be. Uh, of course, this is, a, this is what the table looks like as of right here, right now. Real Madrid are, of course, running away with it. Barcelona are in second spot, of course, and they look good for top four right now. Sevilla, Atletico Madrid are in the mixer as well. Mio Real Betis are just outside with Real Sociedad. Got a lot of work to do if they're going to be in the top four this time around. Alves, uh, uh, Levante and uh, are in the relegation zone and they're looking in a bit of trouble with Granada also in the mixer. Cadiz making a, 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 some, some work for it. Mallorca as well for the time being. Uh, Valacan, a big week for them, of course, moving up to 11th. Uh, Valencia in the top half of the table as well. Let's take a look at what our own little table. Take a bloody bow. These guys, a whole host of Hansi Wurst, Conta Lou, Shane O'Donnell, Jess Bissefsi are great. Deep at the great Barcelona East Atlantic M picking up six points there. Uh, of course, well done to you guys. And of course, well done to the patrons for doing their ting, brother. That's right. Of course, take a look at, of course, the mini leaderboard. Now, this is, of course, from January onwards. And it's Max and Gardy with 89 points uh, for the time being. But who, of course, is winning? We'll have to bring you back up to date the next time around. Wow, 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 indeed. Uh, of course, get in amongst it. Cut the force Espana, we still got a few games left to decide who's going to be champions of Spain, who's going to be champion of our own prediction league. But these are the games that we're going to look forward to this coming match day, of course. Kick it all off. Uh, we're going to go Atletico Madrid. Uh, we'll go to Athletic Bilbao, coming at you on Saturday, April the 30th. Now, these two sides, of course, according to my eyes, have played, played each other 57 times in 1983. 16 wins for Bilbao, 32 wins for Atletico, and nine draws. Of course, just one defeat, though, in the past uh, five games for Bilbao. 50% formats, one, two, lost to and drawn two. Up against the Athletic Madrid side, have also one, two, lost to and drawn two over the last six. That's 50% form heading into this match as well. Last time, of course, in Bilbao. It's a 2-1 win for Bilbao back in April 2020. On the reverse picture, of course, a 2-1 win for Bilbao in Madrid, of course. So Bilbao unbeaten against uh, Atletico over the last three occasions and have only lost once at the last five heading into this match. Of course, Bilbao are picking up a 0-0 draw against Granada. Uh, sorry, that's Atletico Madrid picking up a 0-0 draw against Granada. Bilbao with a 3-2 win over Cadiz last time around. Look at the odds for this uh, This one, the battle, the battle of the Athletics. 21-10 uh, is your Athletic Bilbao, 11-5 is draw, and 7-5 is your away win. That's Madrid, Madrid. Of course, they're going to win this one, aren't they? 2-1 for them on the road to maintain their uh, 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 top four hopes and, of course, maybe even top two hopes. Kick it on forward is Alaves up against Villarreal. Let's get to the deep end on this one then, shall we? Of course, now these two sides have played each other 25 times in 1996. 13 wins for Alaves, 11 wins for Villarreal and one draw, of course. Alaves, though, just one win of six. 17% form up against the Villarreal side. Of course, uh, unbeaten the last five. 67% form, picking up three wins uh, in the last five games. Meanwhile, coming out to the last time, Alaves was 2-1 win for Alaves back in April 2021. On the reverse fixture, of course, a 5-2 win for Villarreal back in December 2021. Seven goal Bobby Dazzle. The, the away sense only won once in the last five. That's when Villarreal beat Alaves in Alaves back in January 2020. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Alaves with a 2-1 loss against Mallorca. Villarreal with a 2-1 win over Valencia uh, for them. Of course, big week for them. Of course, I am recording this on the day off. Uh, Liverpool versus Villarreal in the Champions League. So that may be, have a bearing of this result as well. Uh, let's look at the odds uh, for this one then, shall we? Where are you? Where are 
behind you. There you are, 52 is your Alaves, 25 is your 11 or 10 is your Villarreal. Of course, they want to be in Champions League next next season. 2 0 win for them on the road for Villarreal. Barcelona up against Mallorca. Let's get into the deep end on this one. Over at the Camp Nou. Now, these two sides are locked on on Sunday, May the 1st. Now, these two sides, a pleasure 37 times in 97, 25 wins for Barcelona, 7 wins for Mallorca, and 5 draws as well. Just one win in the fourth for Barcelona right now. Bit of a rough patch for them. 42% form up against the Mallorca side who have uh, picked up two wins in the last three. 33% form over the last six. Last time around, of course, over in Barcelona was a 5 2 win for Barcelona back in December 2019. The reverse fixture, of course, a 1 win for Barcelona in Mallorca. Barcelona picking up six wins on the bounce, of course. Uh, just conceding two goals over the last four uh, between themselves and Mallorca. Of course, they did lose, though, to Vallecano last time around. Uh, but Mallorca with a 2 1 win over Alaves last time around. The odds for this one, though, uh, we have Barcelona 3 1 on for the Ricky 4 1 is your draw and 8 1 is your long shots. That is, of course, Mallorca. Gonna go, of course, with Barcelona 3 0 win at home. No brainer, right? Uh, next, of course, out for Elche. I guess Osasuna, of course, coming at you uh, on Sunday, May the 1st as well. Now, these two sides have played to the corner of my eyes 13 times in 1997. Three wins for Elche, four wins Osasuna, and six draws, of course. Elche, though, 50% form for them, winning three and losing three. I guess Osasuna side have also won three and lost three of the last six. 50% form heading into this match. Last time, of course, over in Elche was a 2 2 draw back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 1 1 draw back in November 2021. That was in Osasuna. Osasuna picking up a 3 1 loss against Madrid last time around. Elche with a 1 0 win over a better, of course, last time around. Back to back clean sheets, then back to back wins heading into this match as well. Meanwhile, look at the odds. 90 to 10 is your Elche. 9 to 4 is your draw. 6 to 4 is your long shots. I guess it is Osasuna. Do the math. Uh, 1 1 draw in the end. Point split right in the middle. I don't even know which way to go. Do you? Let me know down below. Katafe up against Real Bellas, of course, kicking all off uh, on Monday night. That's right, Monday the 2nd of May. Now, these two sides have played each other 31 times since the year 2010 was Katafe, 12 was the Bellas, and 9 draws as well. Meanwhile, but Katafe coming to this. 1 uh, 2 lost to and drawn to over the last 6. 50% form up against a better side who have uh, just lost 1 to the last 6. 6 percent form heading into this match as well. Last round, of course, over in Getafe. It was a 3 0 win for Getafe back in September 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 2 0 win for Real Betis back in September this campaign. In fact, the away side has only won once the last six. That was all the way back in March 2019 when Getafe beat Betis in Betis way back, uh, of course, in that season. Meanwhile, Betis with a 5 4 penalty win over Valencia last time around in the Cope, Cope del Rey. Uh, big win for them. A trophy, of course, European football and all that kind of jazz. Next time around, Getafe with a 2 0 win over Celta Vigo last time. The odds for this one, though, Getafe 7 4 for the Ricky 13 8. Uh, is your Betis and 11 to 5 is draw. Could go either way again here. 2 1 win though. Tight, tight, air tight. Real Betis with the win. Take the three points and move in the chains. Granada. Uh, they're going to be locking horns up against, uh, of course, Celta Vigo coming at you on Sunday, May the 1st as well. Now, these two sides have played each other uh, 19 times to 2010. Three wins to Granada, nine wins to Celta Vigo, and seven draws, of course. Uh, Granada, though, uh, one, two, lost two, and draw two of the last six. 50% uh, form. Um, uh, without a win, though, in the last four up against the uh, Celta Vigo side. Just one win to six, and then 25% form heading into this match as well. Last time, of course, in Granada was a nil nil draw way back in uh, uh, January 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, a one to win for Celta Vigo over Granada heading into this match. In fact, Celta Vigo have just conceded one goal uh, against uh, uh, Granada over the last four occasions. Meanwhile, Celta Vigo picking up a 2-0 uh, loss against Catafe. Granada with a 0-0 draw against Atletico last time on the odds for this one, though. We've got uh, Granada 13-8 for the Ricky 94 draw and 17-10 is just Celta Vigo for this one. Back at, of course, a 1-1 draw right down the middle again. Who knows? Who knows which way it goes? I don't know. Sevilla will kick us all off on Friday, April the 29th. Now, these two sides, of course, play each other according to my eyes. Uh, 11 times, 2005, 8 wins to Sevilla, 1 with Fikadiz, and 2 draws as well. Uh, Sevilla, though, 1-2, uh, uh, lost 2 of the last 4, 42% form of the last 6. I guess Cadiz side have also 1-2, uh, lost 2 of the last 5, 42% form of the last 6 as well. Uh, last time out, of course, over in Sevilla, it was a 3-0 win for Sevilla back in January 2020. On the reverse fixture, of course, a 1-0 for Sevilla in Cadiz as well. So, uh, Sevilla unbeaten against Cadiz over the last 6, pick up uh, uh, 6 wins out of 6, and just conceded uh, a couple of goals over the last 6 games when they played each other as well. Cadiz, though, with a 3-2 loss against Bilbao. Uh, Sevilla with a 3-2 win of Levante last time. And the odds for this one, though, a 50 to 8 on is just Sevilla. 14 to 5 is short. 60 to 1 is your long shots. That's, of course, Celta Vigo. Uh, sorry, it's Cadiz on this one. 3 to win in the end for Sevilla to take it to the house. Next, of course, we have Valencia up against Levante, of course. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, of course, coming at you on uh, Saturday, April the 30th. Now, these two sides have pitched 31 times. He's done 5. Uh, 60 wins of Valencia, 6 wins of Levante, 9 draws. Of course, just 1 minute 6 of Valencia right now. 33% form uh, for Valencia at the moment. Meanwhile, Levante, 1 2 lost 2 over the last 6. 42% uh, form for them heading into this match as well. Kicking on forward, though, last round in Valencia, it was a 1 0 win. Sorry, it's a 4 2 win for Valencia in the league. That was, of course, back in September 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 4 3 win for Valencia over Levante back in December 2021. Of course, Levante with a 3 2 loss against Sevilla. Uh, of course, Valencia with a 5 4 penalty shootout loss against Real Betis in the Copa del Rey last time around. Kicking on forward, though, the odds for this one. No, we've got what we've got going on. We have Valencia 65 with the extra 25 is draw. 11 5 is your away win. Uh, of course, tight, tight, airtight. Once again, 2 1 win, though, for Valencia to take it to the house. Oh, wow, wow, we well. Kicking off all those Valencia up against Real Sociedad. That's a bit of a zinger, zinger chicken dinner. Of course, over on Sunday, May the 2nd. 
uh, sorry, May the 1st. Of course, May the 1st be with you. That's right, of course. Uh, 34 times the finishers, 93, 30 wins apiece, and eight draws. Of course, Valakar, they just one defeat of the past uh, five for them, 50% form. That's one, two, lost two, and drawn two over the last six. Up against the Real Sociedad side, have also just lost once of the last six, 67% form heading into this match as well. Last time, of course, over in uh, Valacano, it was a 2 2 draw back in January 2019. The reverse fixture, of course, a 1 win for Sociedad. Uh, that was back in August, uh, match number two. Sociedad unbeaten against Valacano over the last five, picking up two wins and three draws. Uh, of course, a lot of 2 2 draws knocking around between these two sides. Sociedad, though, coming to on the back of that 1 0 loss against Barcelona. Back to back goal games without a goal for them up against the Valacano side. Back to back clean sheets for them uh, and back to back wins uh, moving forward as well, including win over Barcelona. Meanwhile, of course, Valacano at 11 5 for the victory, 11 5 is draw 30 10. Tight, tight, airtight on this one. Could it go either way? 2 1 win in the end for Sociedad. That's my boys taking the three points and moving the chains once again. And then wrapping up, wrapping up, of course, it'll be Real Madrid up against Espanyol coming at you on uh, uh, Saturday, April the 30th. Just watched that zinger zinger game last night between Manchester City and Real Madrid. Sets us up nicely for the second leg next week, of course. 55 times they finish on Sintan 10, 440 wins for Real Madrid, 9 wins for Espanyol, 6 draws, of course. Uh, Bas uh, Real Madrid winning 4 of the last 6, 67% form up against the Espanyol side. Just one win in the last 4 for them, 42% form heading into this match. That's now, of course, over at uh, Real Madrid. Over the Bernabeu was a 2 win for Real Madrid back in December 2019. The reverse fixture, of course, a 2 1 win for Espanyol back in October. 2021. Espanyol with a 1-0 loss against Valacan. Of course, Real Madrid with a 4-3 loss against Manchester City. Of course, they'll be taking on City again on the 5th, on the 4th. May the 4th be with you, of course, uh, uh, as they go to uh, the Bernabeu in the semi-final of the Champions League as well. So a big couple of days for Real Madrid. Of course, they are champions elect. They should be home and host on that one as well. Uh, what about the odds for this one as we wrap it up? Wrap it up, of course, it is uh, Real Madrid 29 on for the Richie 23 draw and 61 is your long shots. That's, of course, Espanol. 4 no win in the end for Real Madrid. Take it to the house, of course. And that is it. Be sure to get your picks in. Cut your four shots at Espana. Also, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, also on Patreon as well. But until then, boys, make sure you smash your thumbs up. It does wonders for the algorithm, of course. Until then, guys, we'll see you soon for the next one. Until then, we're done right now.